Today we're going to make ourselves a volcano. And we're going to use warm colors only because we want this to look all hot and miserable and fun to be in. You might be wondering what crayons I use. I'm just using the regular box of eight. Inside here we've got our red, yellow, and blue primaries. And we've got our green, orange, and purple secondaries. And then we've got a brown and we've got a black. And this is really all you need to, to do anything. You could get a, a big giant box like this, but there's a problem with, you got all these colors in here. It's sometimes hard to find the color that you want. For example, this guy. Say, so I he looks like a red. And I'll go and I'll start drawing and like, ah, that's not a red. What are you? That's a violet red. You lied to me. You told me you were a red. See, if you've got a box of eight, you don't have the problem. Oh, that one looks like it's red. Oh, look, it's red. Exactly what I wanted. Yay. So we're going to start out with the, with the mountain, with the volcano, and we're going to do this a little different. Rather than having smack in the middle, we're going to put it off to the side a little bit. So let's draw a couple of lines with the brown. And we're gonna leave this top alone for now because we want fire coming out of that. Then we're gonna go to our orange and we're gonna make some fire coming out. Now, we're gonna kind of scribble this, but we're gonna leave the middle alone. We're, we're, we're not doing this. We don't want a big orange thing. This is actually gonna be mostly yellow and white. We just want orange on the outside. And you, you kind of want to break it up a bit so it's not look, it doesn't look so square like I just did it. Right. Then we're going to come up with a yellow. And we're going to yellow it up here. But we're leaving this part white. You want it to look really, really hot. You want to have it white. There we go. That looks like fire coming out. Now, we want some lava. We're going to come in with our orange and we're going to make a little droop coming down. And we're going to make another little droop coming down. And then we're going to make some lava. Now it's going to go left and right like this. Like a big old backwards S. And then this line, we're going to follow it. And as we follow it and we get closer to the bottom of the page, we're going to get further out. So it looks like it's getting bigger as it gets, as it gets closer to us. This, as we look up the mountain, it's getting closer together and smaller. And actually, I would like it a little bit smaller up here. That looks okay. Now this line, we're gonna cover that up. So we don't worry about the mistakes here. Yeah, we're using crayons and we can't erase, but it's all right because we're gonna color this whole thing with just solid color, no white space whatsoever on this paper when we're done. Now we're gonna come with our orange again and we're gonna kinda blend our edges into white. So it's gonna be really strong orange here and it's gonna kinda fade out. So we're gonna push down less hard on the crayon And we're going to have it kind of fade into white. Now we're going to get the yellow and the same thing as we did here. We're going to put some yellow on the sides and blend that in the pure white in the middle. I mean, this is really, really hot. So it's gonna be white hot. And we can actually have the yellow go all the way to the edge too. Cause I mean, yellow, orange, sure. That'll look even hotter. Now this area here is kind of tough. You kind of, kind of work it back and forth a little bit. Just make sure the center of this is absolutely pure white.
There we go. We got our white hot river of lava. Now, lava right here is going to be really, really hot, and it's going to start to cool down as it gets closer to us. So we are going to kind of lose our white a little bit in this area. We want it to kind of cool down a bit and be just pure yellow. But up here, pure white. Now, to show something bright, you got to make something else dark. Right now, this looks pretty bright, but it's only as bright as the paper. The brightest thing here is actually the paper. So to make this look brighter, we got to make the whole paper darker. So we're going to come with a brown. And we're going to put brown on the outside of our volcano. As I'm coloring this, notice what I'm doing. I'm getting the edges first. You get the edges first, so you don't worry about scribbling over the side. You get the edges. And then you can go really fast in the middle here. And you cover everything up. If you tried it this way, and went, like, went really fast like this, you might run your crayon into your lava. And then after you're done, then you have all these little white spaces you have to come in and, and cover up. And this is harder to do that. We want this to be easy. So get the edges first. And then once you get these edges, these critical areas out of the way, then you can actually use the back of the crayon and make a big line. Now over here, I want to have some smaller mountains that aren't volcanic. And I want all this brown also. So I'm going to get my edges first. You know what, I think I want a little pool of molten lava here in the background. Let's go do that really fast. So it's kind of like an oval, because it's not going to be totally round, because we're looking at it in perspective. And we don't have to see the whole pool here. We, we don't need to make a little pool like this. We want this to kind of go off the edge of the paper, because this isn't in a box. We're looking at a window, and so stuff that's going on out here, we just don't see it yet. So we'll go ahead and orange this up. And then we'll take the yellow to it. And then we'll get the brown on the edges. Now we can see our lava looks a lot better because this is darker. Now this is bright. We still have a big sky. Now for something like this, we don't want a bright, happy sky. We want a horrible, ugly, awful sky. This is a great chance to mix some colors together and make an ugly color. So I'm thinking red and green. When I color a sky, I don't want to do this. I mean, yeah, the sky's blue, but it's not that blue. And if I color like this, it's going to take me all day to color the sky. It's going to take me a long time to do the wrong thing. Now, also, you want to go in one direction. I see some children will color like this, and they'll color like this, and they'll color like this, and they'll color like this, and the sky looks like that. That's hard. Get the back of the crayon and just go side to side. 
Look at that. That's a nice sky bloom, and it took me a lot less time. Now, with our horrible sky, we're going to do exactly the same thing, but we're just going to use different colors. Oh, this guy. We're going to make that into a little volcano in the background. Now we need an ugly color to mix with this. So let's go take our green. There we go. Now, this didn't quite mix. We're seeing red and green. We're, we're not seeing this horrible mixture that we want. So let's throw some more colors into it. Often you'll see children will get a bunch of colors and they'll mix them all together and they hope they get a rainbow, but they only end up with mud because the colors will blend and become brown. Well, we want that this time. Let's go take a purple. That looks actually pretty good. Let's go put some purple just down here, like a layer of smog. We don't want this to be perfectly smooth. We have it heavier in some areas. Now, we've got clouds and stuff. We've got these horrible, horrible purple clouds. And we're gonna take some orange, no. I'm going to take some yellow over the purple. You know, it's like doing that sunset, except with horrible colors. Now, if we want this to look even hotter, we want this even darker. So we're going to take a black and we're going to go over all of our brown areas with black and make that a dark brown. And yes, this is going to take a long time. But it's going to be really, really cool looking when we're done with it. There, look at that. That looks really, really good. There, look at that. Now, this stuff back here, this is farther away. We're gonna do something called atmospheric perspective. Things tend to fade and get lighter as they get away from us because there's stuff in the air. So we don't want these completely black. We just want these just a little darker. And while we're at it, we can make them darker on this side like they're being shaded. Like there's something, like there's a horrible sun or something over here off page lighting these guys up. So we'll make them kind of darker on one side and not as dark on the side facing Mr. Sun. Now right around here we've got like a hill. This is a hill where lava is coming down so this is going to be dark because this is close to us. And this area is kind of further away from it. So it's going to be a little bit darker, but not all the way dark. So now it looks like we're walking on this area. And then if we keep on walking, we'll go down the hill and end up in the horrible lava valley. 
but I think this pretty much does it for, for a volcano. Get that little area there. Now the last thing we need is some horrible smoke coming out of this. So let's smoke this up. I want to make little curls like this. And I'm kind of leaving more weight on one side of this. So now I have two. I have two black colors. And I want to put some brown in here because smoke isn't going to be totally black. And I can go over my orange a little bit. Not a lot, because I want it to stay bright. And then I'm going to put some orange in the smoke. Like there's burning stuff still boiling around in the smoke. And the smoke's going to start like around this. It's not going to start really above it. It's going to start like in it. It's just that directly over. We don't want to darken it any. So we'll just put a little bit of brown right here on the tips of the of the orange. And there we go. That's probably the best volcano you've ever drawn in your life. If you like this episode, please subscribe. Give me a comment about what you liked and what you'd like to see. And uh, I'll do another scene like this a little bit later. Thank you.